Are you in a long distance relationship and starting to lose patience with your partner? Are you struggling to communicate well and stay connected with one another? I'm about to break down 95% of long distance relationships right now. Hey everyone, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. So guys, I first want to start off with the fact that this channel has had some insane growth and I want you to know that I'm doing my very best to try to get back to every single one of your comments. And you guys are bringing up such key relevant topics that I really wanna put a lot into each one of these comments. So just know my intention is I, I wanna get to all of them. Some of them are gonna slip through the cracks and I'm sorry about that. But if you keep commenting, the chances that I will get in touch with you some way, those chances are pretty high. So again, thank you guys for leaving those comments and thank you so much for subscribing and just helping this channel grow. And the great thing about comments is I'm getting some excellent video suggestions from you guys, one of which is long distance relationships or LDRs for short. So this week, I'd like to thank Marcella Fuentes for making the suggestion on this particular topic. I hear you, Marcella, and this one's for you. So what are we gonna cover today about long distance relationships? And as the title would suggest, I'm about to cover nine reasons long distance relationships don't work for about 95% of people. And after that, I'm gonna cover two key ingredients that would push a lot of you into that 5% success rate. So stay tuned for that. Also, I just wanna say with making this video that I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings. And just going back to the comments here, guys, I see so many things that you guys write after I post a video, like signs he's not interested in you, where you're like, Ryan, that made me even more depressed than I was coming into this video. Or, you know, like, Ryan, this video makes me so sad because it highlighted the fact that this guy that I've been interested in isn't really interested in me. And that's okay. Not every guy is going to be interested in you. Otherwise, think of how overwhelming that would be. No, you just have to keep sorting through them. That's what this is all about. And I'm making these videos to empower you guys to be able to make an educated decision about your situation with these men that you're with. Okay, so with all of those little side notes and caveats, let's get into those nine reasons why long distance relationships don't work for most people. The first reason is communication is intermittent. Now, when you two live in different cities or even countries, your schedules are naturally gonna be off. Sure, you guys can come up with pre-planned times to chat, but rarely does that work in the way that you intended to. I mean, life happens, right? So enough missed calls is enough to drive anybody crazy. Also, since there's distance between the two of you, there's a tendency to over-communicate when you actually do have those moments when you're communicating with your partner. I mean, there's so much you guys are missing from each other's lives that you're trying to cram it all into one conversation. So what ends up happening is you guys end up talking past each other and a lot of things that you guys are communicating to each other get lost in translation. The second reason is your vibrations will never be in sync. Just like trying to cram things into those conversations over the phone or through text, when you guys actually do get together for a visit, you're gonna be trying to cram all these activities in, trying to cram sex in, and just try to cram any intimate moments you can create with the rendezvous. And by doing this, this is just gonna cause your energetic states to be amplified. So you guys literally won't be acting like you normally would as you would if they live close by to you and you can see them on a regular or semi-regular basis. This is why a lot of those blowout fights happen and visits get ruined because of this amplified state. You feel the sense of obligation to check off a lot of those boxes with your partner in a very short period of time. And that sense of obligation is naturally gonna throw your vibe off. So again, you're essentially not yourself when you guys are together. The third reason is jealousy is amplified. You may not be the jealous type and if that's the case then this one isn't going to be as much of an issue for you. But because you don't have access to this person in real life, you never really know what this person is doing when they're not around. You might see a group photo of him on his Instagram feed and see a pretty girl standing next to him and say to yourself, Ooh. Now, if he was around and living close by to you, he'd probably have the opportunity to clear that up and let you know that was actually his cousin, but not in a long distance relationship. Nope. Those opportunities to clear the air and clear things up are far and few between. You're simply gonna have less context for things that are going on in his life, and he will have the same with you. You guys are just gonna have less influence in each other's lives, and that's enough to drive anybody crazy. I get it. 
The fourth reason is intimacy can never grow. In a long distance relationship, everything is start, stop, start, stop. You're not able to build much of a foundation of anything, especially intimacy. Imagine trying to build a house on quicksand. You start laying down a few bricks and they start disappearing within five minutes. Now you may think you're just picking back up where you left off with him. And you see, it's because you're never getting the same version of him that you did the previous time. And he is not getting the same version of you. So you guys are constantly trying to catch up on that level. This relationship is not happening in a vacuum. He's changing and evolving and so are you. Therefore, intimacy is fleeting and never really has the chance it deserves. The fifth reason is technology never tells the tale. Just think about it. How many times did a text message or an email get you into trouble with someone and after you realize why they were upset, you realize that's not what you meant or intended at all with what you wrote. That's because the written word, you know, those texts and those emails, they lack the proper context. So what ends up happening is they're open for interpretation. When you're relying on technology to keep you guys connected, some thoughts and intentions are just gonna get lost in the mix. Nothing will ever be able to substitute the feeling and the clarity you get from communication with a person who's right there face to face with you. The sixth reason is resentment loves distance. Now maybe you met this guy in another city or another country while you were traveling and the feeling was just so amazing. But now let me ask you a really tough question. Was the feeling of the experience great just because of him? Or was it because traveling to that new city or country was exciting and he just happened to be there? Now I wanna go one step further and this one might be a tough one to kind of pull apart. But do you think you'd still have the same feeling and attraction to him if you met him in your home city? Maybe not. But at some point you may be facing the feeling of resentment, wishing that you had met him a little closer to home. Now the only time that resentment doesn't really come into play with a long distance relationship are things like military deployments because they're temporary. That's about a year, a year deployment or unique work projects. The difference is in those two types of scenarios, you guys had an opportunity to grow your relationship in real life, in person, on a regular basis. Therefore, these relationships have stronger foundations and those get elevated to that 5% success rate we've been talking about. So the two key ingredients you would need to be in that 5% are the following. The bond needs to be formed on a regular basis in real life. And secondly, you guys just need to have that discussion and that progression towards having an exclusive relationship before the separation occurs. So before those military deployments, you guys already have that rock solid foundation. Or if your partner's going off to work in another country for six months, you guys already have established that bond in real life on a regular basis. The seventh reason is it never feels 100% right. Here's why this one is so relevant. Since you guys live apart, it will always be the case that at least one of you will never be in their home base. He's either gonna be visiting you or you're gonna be visiting him. Therefore, the chances that the visiting partner is gonna feel totally centered and totally in the moment with you are gonna be low. And as we discussed in the previous reason, who isn't gonna be feeling a little bit of resentment that they always have to travel to see you or you see them? That initial spark and then excitement with him in the beginning, that wears off. So there may end up being this weird pressure that you guys put on yourselves to rekindle that feeling. And by doing that, it just always ends up as a forced experience. The eighth reason is your needs are never 100% met. Now I'll admit, there are some of you that will be able to rise above this beautifully. You know, some men and some women just don't have large checklists that they need checked off in a long distance relationship. But unless your partner has some uncanny ability to check off all those boxes and has a memory like a super vault and never forgets anything, some things are just gonna slip through the cracks. In long distance relationships, there is a tendency to score keep. Who visited last? Who's the chief initiator between the two of you? And we typically do that because we feel that our needs aren't being met. But look, if you feel 100% satisfied in this relationship, great. But even relationships that don't have the distance factor tucked into it have needs-related problems. I mean, regular relationships are hard enough. 
Long distance relationships tend to accentuate needs related issues. And the ninth reason is you're already growing apart. The truth of the matter is every moment that you guys spend apart is one more moment when you guys aren't growing on the same trajectory together. You guys just don't have that critical influence you'd have to coordinate your direction if you guys were actually living close to one another. And the longer a long distance relationship continues, the bigger the disparity becomes with you guys being on the same page. You guys are both moving on your own unique growth courses. Now sure, this relationship does have a chance. You guys might be like, Ryan, are you saying like this is just hopeless? And I'm saying for a lot of folks, in a long distance relationship, yes. One of the biggest things that's gonna make this thing work is if one of you guys is willing to budge on moving closer to the other one. But most people aren't willing to budge on that. They want you to budge. And the reason people don't budge is because they've found that unique path and they're happy to be on that path. That's really the only way you guys can sync up your growth is by one moving closer to the other. That way the relationship really does have a chance. If you guys have been on my channel and even watched a few of my videos, you guys know I'm a straight shooter. I definitely don't mean to be a Debbie Downer when it comes to long distance relationships, but I'd rather pull out all of that anxiety, all of that fear, all of that unhappiness I see in your guys' comments about these relationships you're in. I just want to pull all of those negative elements and put them on the table for you guys to see plainly what they are. And that way you guys can just look at them and make a super clear decision about what you want and how you wanna continue from here. One of my biggest reasons for starting this channel was to build people up. So when I see some of you say, Ryan, I'm never gonna find another guy like this, even if he is far away, I have to make it work. And what I'll say to you is this, you were able to attract this guy in this foreign land or this different city, right? If you're able to attract that guy, you're gonna be able to attract a guy that lives closer to you. This is already an uphill battle. I mean, like we said, this is like a 90 to 95% failure rate when it comes to these types of relationships. You can attract the guy and he can be closer to you. You can make that happen. That's proof that you know what you're doing. You already know what to do. By having that guy live physically close to you, he's gonna be able to satisfy you much more and he's gonna be able to check off so, so many more boxes than what this long distance relationship is giving you right now. So guys, it's all love here, seriously. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like below. It's now New Year's Eve and we're about to hit 2020 together. I'll ask you to be safe, get those New Year's resolutions in order, and I'll see you in 2020.